Welcome back to the Finite Math Podcast. We're going to start and look at problems involving annuities. Now, a typical problem what you see here is that you place $100 at the end of each month into a savings account that's going to pay, say, 4% a year, compounded monthly. And what we'd like to do is to see the value of this account at the end of two years. Now, before we uh, find a magic formula that's going to give the answer in just one step, I want to go through and do a simulation so that we can see how the money grows from month to month. Uh, first of all, we need to make up a template here to kind of record our uh, basic information. So the deposits is going to be, what, $100 a month. Put that in. Uh, the rate per year it was given as 4%. Remember, we entered as a decimal. And we're compounding the account monthly. So we'll use 12, 12 months in a year. And now the total number of periods, we will calculate uh, two years uh, worth of months is 24 months all total. Now, so that's the basic information that we're given in the problem. Now, we are going to have to make use of the rate per period. In other words, the rate per month here in this case. So how do we calculate that? Well, if we start with an equal sign. The annual rate is 4%. And we want to divide that by 12 months in a year. That's the number of compounding periods there. And so it's a, a third of a percent a year. OK, so that's our basic information we're going to need. Now let's make up this uh, simulation. Let's go over here someplace. And let's record, say, the months. And then let's do everything. So we'll put the deposit. what the interest is going to be, and then finally what the uh, ending uh, balance is going to be. I guess I should have put a space there to make it read a little better. Okay, now let's see. Let's look at the months. Here's month one. Now, if you recall how we can uh, write out all the months, let's go to edit, fill, fill a series. It's going to be in columns, linear, yes, and we want it to stop at 24 months. Okay, okay, well, okay, that gets us down here. Let's move down so we can see all 24 months. Now, what about our deposit? Well, we're going to deposit $100 at the end of each month. So I can make the, just refer to our template over here. Now, we're going to keep this the same each month. So I don't want to put $100 one month and a different value another month. Otherwise, you just have to change this. So I want to press the F4 function key to make it into a constant. Now, actually, we can double-click that, fill in all of those deposits. Now, what about the interest? Well, the interest in the end of the first month is going to just be zero. So we just have to put that in. And so our balance at the end of the first month is just going to be what we put it in, but we might as well enter it as a formula. It's going to be the amount we deposited plus the amount of interest. Okay, so that's $100. No. Now, it gets a little more complicated in the second month. Okay, because now how, what interest are we going to get in the second month? Well, it's going to get the uh, monthly interest applied to what our previous balance was. So it's equal to ending balance from the previous month times the monthly rate that we're going to get. Now that monthly rate is going to stay the same, so we hit, have to hit that F4 function key to change it into a constant. Okay, so that's going to give us 33 cents. Big deal. Okay, now what about the balance now at the end of the second month? Now, here we're going to have to put together several things. Well, we're going to get the previous balance. We're going to add to that. So take that plus and plus what? Well, we're going to add our interest to it, of course. And we're going to add the new deposit. Okay. So we and it. We see we get 233 cents for our interest there. Okay. Now, how can we copy this all the way down? I just highlight this. 
and then double click it and there we're done down here and we see our final balance down here is $2,494.29 now you can do a lot of things with the simulation you can look at the end of the first year we know we put in $1,200 ourselves. we got $22.25 interest we can do a similar thing for the second year figure out how much interest we got during the second year or would get something like this all right, so those are the kind of things you can do. And the important thing here is to see how this formula operates to get uh, the, the balance at one month, depending upon the balances of the previous month and the interest earned and things like that. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll continue this discussion in the next podcast.